The METEX 3800 is an all-purpose multimeter that's used to measure resistance, DC or AC voltage, DC or AC current, and the beta value of transistors. It comes with the box, two leads, and the multimeter itself. To measure resistance using the multimeter, we will take the multimeter, two alligator clips, that can plug into the multimeter to the VCC and the COM and then we will take a resistor. Connect the VCC and the COM to either side of the resistor but not the same side. Hold them in your hand so that you do not touch any of the metal parts and turn the multimeter on on the ohm setting. Here we are measuring 0.32 and it's on 20 kilo ohms. So we know that that's 0.32 kilo ohms. If we go down to 200 ohms, we see that we can't see a value. This is because the ohm measurement is too low. Putting it up by one, we can see that the value is 0.326 kilo ohms, which is 326 ohms. When you have the ohm meter on the ohm setting, never connect it to a voltage source or battery, as this could destroy the multimeter. First, make sure you change the DC or AC voltage, depending on which voltage you want to measure. Once you have it on the DC voltage, we can measure this DC battery. Measure the negative lead to the negative end, which is here, and the positive to the positive end, which is here. Doing this, we can see that we have 7.78 volts. Now this is a nine volt battery, but this is no fault of the multimeter. Looking at another battery, we'll measure something different. Connecting the negative to the negative end and the positive to the positive end, we find it's 9.03 volts, much closer to the nine volts we were looking for. This variance can depend on the manufacturer of the battery or how old the battery is, as the voltage that comes out of a battery will decrease over time. To measure the value of a transistor, we won't need these leads. What you'll want to do is look up the data sheet for the transistor that you have. The transistor should have its model number printed on the top of the package. Once you've found that, find out which pin is the emitter, which pin is the base, and which pin is the collector. And also see if it is an NPN or a PNP transistor. If it is an NPN, put it on the right side of the blue circle, or if it is a PNP, put it on the left side of the blue circle, and put the emitter into the point marked E, the base into the point marked B, and the collector into the point marked C. Press it down until it goes in firmly, and change over to the HFE setting. That right there is your beta value for the transistor. If you'd like to know more about this multimeter, or if you'd like to be able to measure AC voltage or AC current, you can look at the user guide manual that we have for the multimeter.